Hello guys, this is Bitcoin Duggo. Uh, this is going to be my first video here on my new channel. Uh, you can go to ch uh, BitcoinDuggo.com and go ahead and find all my postings there. Um, you can also join the forum if you have any questions. First, we're going to talk about a Clayton today, Claycoin. Uh, I've wrote about uh, what Claycoin is. And you can search this up on on here on coinmarketcap.com, and you can see it's available in uh, markets like Coin One, uh, OKEX, GDoc, all these exchanges. Uh, but preferably, you would want to buy it on Coin One uh, because of the volume. You can also get it at Bittrex, but the volume is very low, um, so. Um, there should be a big price gap, so you probably want to get Clayton. Um, so why do you want to buy Clayton? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, Clayton is uh, developed by GroundX. It's a subsidiary of Kakao Talk in South Korea. It's the biggest mobile platform messenger. Uh, I'm actually in a South Korean, and I, you know, know about this, and I use this to talk to all my family. Um, you can also do voice calls. A lot of people just use Kakao Talk instead of using even the phone calls. Um, also, it is used uh, for many websites, uh, Korean websites, in order to log in. Uh, you know, like in America, you use uh, Facebook or something, Facebook login, Twitter login, or Google login. Well, in Korea, Kakao Talk is uh, basically what people use, and they can use an easy QR code uh, that's on the website to sign in with their app. And so it's a very secure. It's not just a messenger app. Uh, and Kakao Talk also has expanded to stuff like Kakao Taxi. It's like an Uber service that allow you to call taxi. It's actually the most popular taxi calling app. Um, there's many other little apps like that, and they have also have Kakao Pay, which is an app that helps you bank in Korea. So you link up your bank account, credit cards, and you can use Kakao Pay to do most of your internet banking, uh, such as pay for uh, goods, products you buy at a website. Um, and this is why Kakao Talk is already um, has an infrastructure, digital mobile infrastructure that connects all the Koreans. Um, so the Koreans already have an existing mobile system that does not use a blockchain. Now Clayton is the next blockchain revolution uh, that Kakao Talk will use to make a secure blockchain platform. So for for example, right now, if you use Kakao Talk, you may go through multiple different merchants, banks, um, uh, taking fees and stuff. By using blockchain, they're gonna be able to cut down on the fees. Uh, right now with credit card fees are like two to three percent. That's gonna come down to like 0.1%. That's gonna help merchants uh, make more money, uh, make it easier and make it secure. And because blockchain really runs itself uh, through the ledger, uh, that blockchain ledger, you, the company's gonna save a huge amount of money in uh, uh, fees like database. Right now they're using database. Uh, they have a lot of manual stuff. Uh, we're gonna be able to really automate all of this with Clayton. Now Clayton now has a uh, its own wallet, crypto wallet called Clip. Right, it supports uh, Clayton as of today. Um, you can actually store this, and also they have staking, so you can get Clip. A wallet straight from your Kakao Talk app, and basically stake it just within an app within a bunch of clicks. And uh, I think right now it's about an annual percentage APR of around eight to nine percent. Right now, it's it's right now the only thing you can do on the wallet is just basically send and receive and stake. Uh, but once Clayton um, basically uh, develops into stuff like shopping. Uh, or paying for, let's say you take a taxi and you want to pay for it with uh, crypto, you're going to be able to do this like within the next a year, maybe maybe by 2022. Um, people are going to be able to actually use crypto, uh, Clayton, to pay for stuff, uh, send money, and uh, you're going to be able to also do banking and all kinds of stuff. All right, Clayton is also a smart contract coin with DApps, uh, DApps, just like Ethereum. And because because Kakao Talk, the the parent company, has this huge infrastructure, basically they own like you know ninety percent of Korean communication, 
um, and a lot of you know other things like uh, Kakao Taxi and and more much more and games games a huge thing there's a bunch of games you can play on Kakao Talk uh, so they already own this digital network infrastructure uh, where most of Koreans use all right uh, there's now once you bring in crypto and develop services for example let's say develop a dApp uh, and then transition a lot of the existing apps on Kakao Talk into uh, blockchain apps that's going to be a huge, a huge thing. Uh, right now, there's companies making insurance uh, policies on blockchain on Clayton. Uh, there's going to be games. There, you know, everything that's right now Korea is already using. Millions of Koreans are using. This is going to all tr um, basically transition to the new Clayton blockchain technology. So, looking at this for the long-term growth of Clayton over the next five to ten years this is probably not just gonna become a big coin in just South Korea it's gonna be one of the biggest in the five next five to ten years in the whole world the reason is that Koreans have very complex um, there's like there's like literally hundreds of banking apps Koreans already use um, to process and make facilitate uh, mobile banking a better all right so there's already a complex system that Koreans use, and this is going to really revolutionize, uh, make everything efficient, um, and obviously, Kakao Talk being behind it, um, they're already working with many many of the major companies like Samsung, LG, SK Telecom, Shinhan Bank. Um, so it's going to be very very interesting, and we're right now seeing just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the prices. Um, now, this is on Coin One. It actually pumped a lot today, right? But but let's look at the long-term charts, and it's it just it's just a good time, I think, to get into uh, Clayton, right? And don't don't look at the chart uh, prices on CoinMarketCap.com because it's not it's just simply not updated that often. But let's go ahead and take a look. Go to Coin One. Uh, this is the pro chart. They have the regular chart. Sorry, my my computer's going out. Let me actually go ahead and make the performance a little better. All right, looking at this uh, one day chart. I wish I could use Trading View, but uh, again, this is um, a little slow. And looking at the long term charts, it's just been going down and down and down. Now the reason why this is a good opportunity, um, you see, it, it was at one thousand one. We're there. Let me see if I can make this chart. And it and and after I think the main net went live. This is back then, so it's it's at the pretty good. It, it's it's gotten up there, but it's sort of forming uh, bottom here. All right, we're just all there. So this is a coin. You might say, okay, it's at 501 is around 50 cents, but you know, give it another couple of years, this could easily go to 10, 100, uh, 1,000. And um, the reason why it can be bec become huge, uh, like Ethereum, it could even overtake uh, Ethereum in maybe five to 10 years. The reason is that uh, once it gets start, it, it gets used in South Korea. Um, it's gonna be used everywhere by for everything pretty much for taxi uh, for internet banking internet payments um, Insurance everything's gonna be on blockchain and even though population of Korea is 35 million But majority of these people are gonna be the one using Clayton and This is why it's huge. Whereas Ethereum is not really mainstream. You don't go to a store and you can't, you know, use it to buy something. Even now, it's it's more of a it's still in development. But you know, once Clayton takes off, it's the mainstream usage. It's gonna be like near like 99% by the South Koreans. All right, so um, we're looking at that, and I don't know. Maybe you know, right now also the good thing is Bitcoin is sort of. Uh, you know, hitting its all-time high, and you know, we, all, many of the alts are starting to pump. So we're gonna have a good alt season. 
But I just want to show you what Clayton's about uh, because there's not too much information about it. And I think this is one of the coins, long-term coins you should buy and hold for like three to five years. Uh, remember, Ethereum was at a dollar and I bought maybe 2,000 coins and I sold it for a loss. <laughs> and it was at under a dollar and I still regret that. And, you know, um, of course, there's always going to be up and downs. But I think right now it's a great time to pick up some clay. Again, this is this is not a financial advice. You should always do um, what, you know, you should do your research. But, you know, I'm South Korean. I, I know where this what this coin is about um, I use Kakao talk app uh, I've tried uh, multiple dozens of Korean uh, mobile banking apps payment apps because Korea is a little bit different from other countries uh, for example if you wanted to use a delivery service you have to use a payment app that links your credit card you usually you can't just use your credit card like in the US, you could just enter your credit card information, done. No. A lot of these, uh, for example, there's a, a delivery app called Yogio or Pedare Minjo, which are the two widely used um, delivery services, sort of like Uber Eats. Now, to make a payment, um, you have to use another app that they use. For example, Yogio uses its own Smile Pay app. So you put your credit card information in that app. So this is sort of like a second and th third. Uh, process and you can't even use you know uh, foreign credit cards on some of these most of these apps and crypto is gonna really open up that part of it uh, especially foreigners living in Korea or want to buy stuff from Korea right now you go to a Korean website you're not gonna even be able to use your credit card but stuff like the crypto is gonna allow really open up the global market for a lot of the Korean products um, so there's there's that for that but anyway, I just want to give you what I think of it in 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 uh, in terms of a South Korean investing into this and actually knowing you you know what's going on in Korea. But uh, this this is gonna be this is this has potential. It's like Ethereum, but it's gonna be you know go mainstream once you know it's it's gonna start going mainstream because Kakao Talk is already pretty much center of communication and all kind of different uh, systems in Korea. Uh, anyway, um, you can buy this at Coin One, but I don't think they support actually foreigners to buy it. So if you need to buy it, um, you will have to go to another, uh, probably let me see, you can go to another one that supports it. You can try OKEX, right? Um, a lot of these exchanges are non-Korean, you can try something like gate, gate.io, um, try that route. Bittrex, there's not enough volume, um, so try that route. But yeah, Clay, Clayton is gonna be probably one of the biggest cryptos in the, uh, in the world, just because the South Koreans are just ready to do this. They already have the infrastructure. Um, it's, they're, they're just ready, to, ready for this technology and we're just simply converting existing services, digital services that Koreans use and trans, um, transitioning them to Clayton. Because it's not just for money, it can be stuff for uh, like taxi services or, or anything that requires a database. Uh, they're going to be able to really, you know, maximize and make everything efficient. Anyway, check it out. Um, I have all the information I talked about on uh, uh, BitcoinDoggo.com. You, you can ask your questions there. And uh, I'm also on Twitter, Bitcoin Doggo on Twitter. Have a great day, folks, and I'll see you guys on the next one.